Hi, I'm Nina Boski, and welcome to Life Bites, where each and every week we'll get you inspired in the areas of life, business, and media. We'll help you dare, dream, do, and be so you can get out of your head into your soul in order to tune in and take a bite. This week, we're getting you life inspired. Hey, everybody, welcome to the show. You know, over the years, I've had the opportunity and the privilege to interview some of the most well-known personal growth experts and transformational leaders in the world. And this guest that I'm going to share with you today, a man that I got to interview several years ago, is a best-selling mega author of The Four Agreements. His name is Don Miguel Ruiz, and He's going to share with you, I'm going to, going to give you a portion of that interview in which he shares the birth of how the four agreements came about. And for those of you that are not quite aware what those four agreements are, or you need a little bit of a reminder, let's go over them. Because I think that if all of us could just follow these agreements, the world would be in a much better place. So let's look at the first agreement. I'm going to read them. And for those of you who are watching the podcast, and instead of listening to it, you can see them on the screen. First one is be impeccable with your word. Speak with integrity. Say only what you mean. Avoid using words to speak against yourself or to gossip about others. Use the power of your word to offer love. Never use it to cause fear or pain in another or yourself. If the media could just use this one agreement, man, wouldn't that be an interesting conversation? Agreement number two, don't take things personally. Don't take anything personally. Nothing others do is because of you. What others say and do is a result of their own dream or perception of their rules. We all make rules about how things should be, but when you are immune to the opinions and actions of others, you won't be the victim of needless suffering. Don't take things personally is a big one. How many of us do? We think it's about us. And nine out of 10 times, it has nothing to do with us. So you know what I tell people? Let it roll. And the great thing about it is if you let it roll, you even do a nice little stretch to reduce some of that stress. So don't take things personally. The third agreement is don't make assumptions. Now this is a big one. Don't make assumptions. Find the quiet courage to ask questions and to express what you really want. Communicate with others as clearly as you can to avoid misunderstanding, sadness, and drama. With just this one agreement, you can completely transform your life. Isn't that the truth? How many of us make assumptions? We tell ourselves stories that may not be the truth. So that's a big one to look out for in your own life. And then the last agreement, number four, is always do your best. Your best is going to change from moment to moment. It will be different when you are healthy, opposed to sick, and under any circumstance, Simply do your best and you'll avoid self-judgment, self-abuse, and regret. Even when you're not on your A game, you're doing the best you can that day, that time, that moment. And so just imagine if you took these four agreements and started applying them to your own life. So what in terms of a life bite question, what agreement resonates with you? And as an exercise, maybe what you could do is take the four agreements, these four, and take one each week and work on it. So over a month, you would have already gotten better. So let's take a look at this video or listen, if you're listening, audio version of my interview with Don Miguel as he talks about this idea being born and birthed inside of him. 
I just have to say hello to you right now. So thank you so much for being here. He is an international best-selling author of The Voice of Knowledge, The Mastery of Love, The Four Agreements, a New York Times bestseller for over seven years, and The Fifth Agreement, which he co-authored with his son, Don Jose. So welcome to the show. You know, it's always a big, big pleasure to be with you and with all of you, too. Going back a few years, it was transformation that actually got you to all these books here, right? From the Fifth Agreement to Mastery of Love to the Four Agreements. What happened in your life that made you transform? Well, this is a long story, but we try to make it very short. <laughs> and our little sound bite. It, it was uh, when I was doing my uh, social service as a medical doctor. It was uh, one night of inspiration. It was in the middle of the night, in the summer, in the desert. I went out for a walk, and all, all of a sudden, it just happened. Without words, I understood. I can say that I faced truth directly. And I see all the stars. And in that moment, I knew that the light that come from all the stars come from millions of light years and everyone is in a completely time and space with a big, big difference. And, but in that given moment, I was receiving the light from all those stars. Then everything changed for me as soon as I have that awareness because I turn around, I see the earth, and I see it as a living being, that, uh, and I live in that. And then I see my hands also, and I knew that my whole body is a whole universe and is complete. And every cell of my body is a whole universe and is complete. Then I just understood that there's only one being and is alive and is always changing. So for you, which is kind of interesting, it was a, catal you know, a catalyst. It was right at that moment things change. For people that may be thinking about their life at home, right? Sometimes change happens in a moment, and sometimes it happens over time. What would you say to somebody that's looking to make a change in their life? Well, I can tell everyone that they have that moment of truth, but very soon we deny it. We don't want to see it because we are very comfortable living the life that we are living, even if we are not happy. Mm -hmm. Then if we have that awareness and we don't get in the temptation to go back into our own life, we can see that we can transform everything. Well, in, in that op in, when that happened to me, it would take years to put it in words. It was not just like that. I just knew, but without the words. Yet. Because there was no <laughs> words really no, to, yes. to express. Then I have to use the words that exist in, in my language that was really Spanish and to try to put it in a way that everybody else can understand my experience. Because in the moment that I feel that, I feel a lot of gratitude. What a warm, warm soul. And if all of us could take in these four agreements, if the world, each of us, started working on these four agreements, overnight, the world would definitely be a better place. For Life Bites and Life Inspired, I'm Nina Bosky. And until next time, remember to take a bite out of life before life takes a bite out of you.